Now, after the calculation of base shear, we have to determine the distribution of design forces for each story. So, you know uh, this formula as we have discussed this uh, in our last video. Okay, so you can see uh, this formula which is given in uh, clause number 7.7.1 .7 which is QI is equal to VB multiplied by WI HI square upon sigma qi hi square okay so uh, what is qi qi is a design lateral force at each floor what is wi which is a seismic weight for each floor what is hi height of the floor measured from the base and n is here your number of story to determine QI for uh, each and every story, here I have prepared one table uh, which showing different uh, parameters in different columns. First of all, floor. Uh, each and every story, it means uh, as our building is start uh, from the 0 to 7. Okay, So I have already uh, prepared table for stories which start from 7th floor and which is nothing but the roof okay now uh, the second column is for wi which is the weight of each and every story then for hi is the height of uh, story from the base and so on you can see the columns and the last we have to determine the story shear now as we know that this second uh, column is for seismic weight okay so uh, you just write down the seismic weight we have already calculated in kilonewton uh, you can see here the seventh story is roof so the roof of the weight is uh, 4509.4 and then uh, sixth sto story is floor so the weight of this particular floor is 6364.8 and similarly you can see up to the story number one the weight will be same as the floor okay then for the third column it is hi means the story height from the base so what is the seventh story height which is the total height of the structure and which is 24.5 and when you go uh, below for the sixth five fourth story it will reduce in minus 3.5 okay then uh, for the next column you just have to uh, multiply it with uh, wi and uh, which is uh, with the square of this particular height and finally you have to just uh, summation of this particular wi hi square and similarly you just fill uh, with this particular table uh, fifth column is for WIHI square upon sigma WIHI square so each and every term uh, you have to deduct uh, sorry not deduct divide with this particular value and put this value here okay and for the QI we have formula okay and fill that particular table Now the last VI, VI is a story shear, okay, uh, till now QI we determine the lateral force distribution and now we have to determine story shear. So what is story shear? Uh, uh, it is a cumulative uh, summation of lateral force, okay, so if it is for the 7th, it means top floor, it will be similar as a uh, QI, then uh, you have to go for cumulative calculations and you can see this table is finished with uh, story share and the final uh, value or we can say final answer of this story share will be our base share and how we can check our total story share values now you can see this diagram which shows the QI values which is the lateral force distribution up to 7th uh, story Okay, uh, you can see here the 
in the table the seven story having letter distribution load is 707 kilonewton and similarly you can see here it is 707.21 letter load distribution and so on okay now when we see our uh, base uh, base shear or sorry uh, we can, our story shear diagram okay let's see here our story shear diagram and the last one value will be our base shear which is a maximum shear uh, at the uh, building okay and how we can calculate our complete uh, seismic calculation of an rc building base shear and story shear with diagram thank you